Masters, where do you think this Trevor Timmons stands? It seems like if it was a different player, it'd be like, oh my God, he got four points. Like he's he's on the team, he's a regular, he's a stud. But it seems like this Timmons guy's got the kind of aura about him where it's like, well, he got four points, but he's still in the backseat looking up like this guy. What does he need to do to be an NHLer? Like, do you think he's got a chance or where do you think he's at? Yeah. You know, six points in the two games and Keith said he probably should have more. If guys had finished in his first game, he could have had more, but they know he produces points. Like, and that's what he said. That's what Keith says. Like we know he creates offense. That's never been a question with him. The question is, can they rely on him defensively? And, you know, I said, you know, this has got to be great for your confidence. What does this do for you? Uh, after that game uh, last night, and he's just like, oh, the points are nice, and I guess it's a bit of a confidence boost, but that is not what I'm focused on at all. i got to prove that I can win battles in the corner. I can break out the puck reliably. Uh, you know, he stayed in Toronto all off season, worked with the, the strength staff, the nutritionist. He's added some, some strength. Um, so that's what he's focused on, and that's what, he, that's what Sheldon Keith wants to hear. He's off to a great start, but... You get, it's hard to build up trust sometimes with with the coach. They got to believe that you're going to be able to go out there against good players and uh, and, and not uh, turn over the puck. And uh, they didn't play him a lot down the stretch last year. Obviously, uh, they brought in guys, and there's now this opportunity. You know, you lose Luke Shen and Justin Hall to free agency. They bring in Klingberg, but you would think, you know, if not now, when for for Connor Timmins? You know, you know, you would you lose him on waivers if you put him there. So what did he have to do? Is he just got to prove that he's more than an offensive guy? at this stage of his career, and that's what he's focused on, and he's off to a good start so far. Even with the points, he's, he's kind of handled things well in every facet of the game. He gets a bit scrambly at times, but I think he's he's been pretty pretty uh, steady for the most part early in camp. Well, and he's also dealing with a new GM, right? Like this, yep. He's a Dubas guy. Dubas brought him in. Dubas signed him. I think he played in the Sioux. Um, Brad Treliving signed John Klingberg, and Klingberg's a vet. He's making more money. I do wonder if the Klingberg injury, if it's something more than just a week, week and a half, if it leads into the season, if that's an obvious transition, Timmons just takes his spot. But Klingberg's playing. Like Klingberg, if he's healthy, will be one of the six. And Brody's playing on the right side. And I, I think Lilligren's playing. So I don't see the spot for Timmons, which is wild because you're right, oh, like the guy had four points. And generally, yeah, like that causes rocket a big shots stir. from the point under no the one's bar. Buzzing. If it's, that was anybody else, we'd be like, oh, wow. The front page Toronto Sun, I'd be yeah. everywhere. This guy's going to make the least with that guy. I was like, oh, that was Trevor Timmons. He's got to be better next it's game. It's Connor. <laughs> it's, it's or, sorry, Connor, Connor Timmons. Connor Timmons. <laughs> <laughs> that's a perfect explanation. That, that's exact. That's where I'm going to go. Yes, like, and I'm sorry, Connor, I got your name. I know a Trevor yeah. Timmons from somewhere. Mm hmm. Yeah, sure you do. But, uh, <laughs> from their right what shot defenseman for the Leafs. Yeah, back in the <laughs> no, day, but, I knew Trevor Timmons. No, honestly, though, I see him as a seven. I see him as a seven. Like, mm. if, if everybody's healthy, guys, he's probably their seven, correct? Yeah, so that's, I think you're right. Yep. So it's not a bad thing, but if he does get an opportunity with a Klingberg injury or out a little bit longer, then... You know, you've got to seize it. And you're right, putting points up but playing responsible, I think that's what's going to impress the coach. And this is what preseason's for. Preseason for is is different for everybody. Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner, get your timing back. I watched McDavid and Dreisaitl play last night. Their, their power play was not clicking. They didn't look really sharp. They just kind of played, got through the game. But the guys farther down in the lineup who are battling for position and battling for pecking order – a guy like Timmons, it really means a lot, and he's got to show up and be a difference maker every shift because every shift will be under the microscope from a coaching staff standpoint and a trust standpoint. So it is big for him in the preseason. A hundred percent. I mean, Brody, we'll see how he gets off to. They could always move him to his strong side to the left. They did that in the playoffs. They could find ways. We'll see how Giordano starts the season. He's going to be 40 in a couple of days. Um, they could find ways. The cap is tricky. Um, you know, in terms of the gymnastics that they might have to do. And if someone goes on LTIR, maybe that, you know, creates flexibility. But, you know, when you're looking at the start of camp, he looked like a guy that might be a cap casualty, depending on how things play out. Obviously, when you got uh, Pridham uh, working things behind the scenes, they always seem to find a way to make things happen. But as you, you mentioned, Brian, he's not, you know, he's the Dubas. He was brought in by Dubas when they're having all the injuries on defense early last season. Um, and, you know, Trey Living brings in Klingberg, so, and he's brought in some other defensive guys, too. 
Um, so Benoit is getting healthy, he practiced in a regular jer- jersey. We'll probably see him at some point here in the next few days with Law. So they have some options. He was under the gun, Timmons, to get off to a good start. He's done that, but he's got to keep it going. He's got to keep the pressure on. And if Klingberg's out for a bit, he's got to show he can be the guy. Because one of the storylines coming into this season is they got to get some more offense from the defense. It can't just be Morgan Riley. Timmons is capable of it if he can show he's a well-rounded guy.